it takes probably a lifetime for an actor to get out of the recognition of a character being compared anything remotely close to shahrukh khan is maybe you've done something right in life we sh- both share very different personalities for us to be you know that thick as friends hmm. but having said that there's never been bad blood either you don't have a bigger culture than shahrukh salman amir khan and the akshay kumar and these people in our industry or in our country hmm. i don't call them superstars they are their cultures of their own mere pehle panch che show rejection ke barabar hi the because i had no dialogues i have always said that our daily soap content is become very regressive i mean why are we why are we even heading towards that path you know initially not everybody can fathom or uh, you know digest the kind of success that one gets i probably started flying too high than i should have and didn't realize that till i fell down ott content ke naam pe people are making amazing shows like the family man and they they're making some disgusting semi porn and calling it content hello and welcome to let's talk with bollywood bubble the guest who's joined us today he needs no introduction well apni baat karu to i have seen him as robi sabarwal i have seen him as raman balla on the small screen and going by what his fans call him i totally agree so he is known as the srk of indian television <laughs> wow having said that i welcome amongst us karan patel hi thank you hello 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 wow i love that intro <laughs> totally but i want to know when people actually tell call you sharukh khan of indian tv how do you feel why i think they are being uh, more kind than probably they should be to me because being compared anything remotely close to sharukh khan is maybe you've done something right in life but i have to say you've been that real real heartthrob on indian television because i very clearly remember my cousins used to be crazy about you when you know you were on kasturi karam apna apna yeah, even lo- the raman bhalla days yeah i think uh, i've been i've been lucky i've been kind and god has been kind to me and uh, been lucky to just uh, land up with some awesome characters amazing but tell me one thing so what was the very first encounter of yours with this industry oh you mean my ev- very first shot my very first break that i got no, in no, the no, industry no no the very first time you probably let's say decided that acha this is something i want to do in life honestly i never decided that i want to become an actor okay uh, it's like it's, it was never a childhood aspiration that i want to grow up to become an actor or something of like that sort but probably this thing was the easiest thing that could happen for me uh, given how brilliant i was in studies in school so i thought yaar and uh, and i was always a i mean sharukh khan is somebody i worship it's not okay. someone i am not a fan i'm a devotee i love that man i worship that man so maybe he is the biggest reason that i wanted to be a part of this industry hoping some day i might just get to share the screen with him uh, though not uh, in the uh, in the capacity of a film or a project but i've been lucky enough to share the screen with him a couple of times so yeah Wow. Maybe he's the biggest reason that I'm here for. You know what can like how did you break through like breaking in this industry at a time you know probably when actor banna was actually difficult. Yeah, because tab na there were not so many options of you becoming an actor. Hmm. Aaj uh, you don't need a camera, you just need a mobile phone to become an actor. Totally. Uh, but when back then the days when we started uh, there was this entire uh, cycle of auditions, first round of auditions, shortlisted auditions and then finalized auditions and then getting a role. So yeah my journey was also not very different than that I started with auditioning for a small character in Kahani Ghar Ghar ki which I was lucky enough to land up okay and then that snowball from one cameo to the other and then so on so forth but koi rejections bhi face hue hai like have you faced mere pehle panch che show rejection ke barabar hi the because i had no dialogues <laughs> you would sneeze and you would miss me on screen so <laughs> no no jokes apart rejections the but uh, not not rejections don't need to actually uh, make you sad or make you feel bad a uh, they just teach you that probably there's another way this could have been done so it's right. something it's a learning experience when you enter an industry which is so complex how do you know you are very new to it how having that right connections meeting the right people is important yes uh, uh, having the right connections having the right people is important because it makes your journey easier but it doesn't make the uh, the fact that being there or staying there becomes any less easier for you because you need to still have the kind of talent and the kind of uh, uh, what is expected out of you okay. to remain where you are you might have gotten a chance to be there easily Mm-hmm. others might get difficult but 
yeah to stay there it takes what it takes i mean nobody can benefit out of that or probably you know get you out of that so if there have to be a few people who've played a very important role in your in you know in shaping up your career or have played a very important role in your journey who would those people be for you i think topmost would be ekta kapoor i think okay. without ekta uh, i'd forever be uh, indebted to her for you know whatever i am today is because of her because i've i've not worked much outside balaji mm, and uh, whatever i've learned uh, is from balaji from her and thanks to her she's kept giving me chances in spite of her million mistakes that i must have made professionally personally wherever and till date she remains a dear friend of mine and uh, yeah i'll keep loving her for the rest of my life for that also you know having done so many iconic shows which which show probably would you feel was the game changer for you why chem hand hands down ye hai mohabbat hai okay ye hai mohabbat yeah because see that show started in a uh, in an era where things were very short lived you know there were shows that were not even sustaining for two months forget hmm. two years and uh, what started as uh, initially as a adaptation of a novel uh, by manju kapoor uh, it was a novel called custody hmm and we were slated to do just 60 episodes of it and we landed up being on air for 6 years yeah so that's that's like a 1000% increment from what the initial understanding was so yeah i think that was a game changer because 6 years to be at that level on and share the top 3 positions on on daily soaps for 3 con- uh, for 6 consecutive years is probably a game changer yes but you know compared to today how was it working in the industry back then so many years back probably it was made way difficult back then sorry i'm yeah I'm, because what happened was you had to constantly work on your craft and time and again prove yourself that you still deserve to be where you are because there were a lot of people waiting to take your place mm-hmm. and today you need to be uh, yeah you need to be on top of your game yes but then also there are not too many people who are going to wait to take your place because they are just ready with some other medium there huh. and people have a lot of choices the audience have a lot of options if if they don't find you entertaining enough they might want, not want to replace you with something else but they'll probably move on to somebody else correct you know there's the, earlier the the threat for an actor was i might get replaced today the threat for an actor is that i might be forgotten that's the difference between earlier and now tv for uh, what i believe is ki tv has always been a very performance oriented medium like aap ek character play karte ho based on that performance is when people either choose to love a character or probably not like it so much hmm. so was there one particular character in your journey ever or more than one probably where you know you were not sure about doing it and then you probably were glad that you chose to do it uh, no not 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 really that i can think of because honestly speaking that uh, see every character that i must have played in my entire career up till now have has not been an effort to play a character i've always turned myself into the character i've never tried to adapt to another character and never reference myself <laughs> to another living character or somebody else so all of, whatever i've done and whatever i've played has always been little bit of me has always been in each of them so not really it's not uh, nothing stands out but yeah the day i do a biopic uh, based on a character who i'll have to uh, follow right from body language to the the kind of vocabulary the kind of speech or the kind of speed of speech that will probably be one of the most remarkable days because Absolutely. till date what i've done is all fictional characters and you know every actor brings something to the table when they do a fictional character also you know when you work on television it's all it's always it's a long association i was talking to somebody recently and they told me in this industry friends banana bahut mushkil hota hai na ah, then that person not know the right people then okay friends banana bahut aasan hai asli dost banana mushkil hai acha that's the difference you know friends what people call friends i call acquaintances because what i call friends is family okay so who do you call friends then yeah there, there are loads there that's uh, anita top of my list yes uh, ekta there's uh, ravi sargun ritwik uh, karan wahi ali um, karanveer uh, yeah karanveer bor there are loads of them because most of the and when i say loads of them i literally mean loads of them because uh, maybe about 35 40 of these people that i know or that i've worked with contemporary actors of mine they've all been such dear friends for such a long time because i've known them when they were already stars and i had just started out doing cameos hmm. in fact anita and me met when anita was playing a lead and i was playing a cameo in the same show that was kavya anjali yeah. yeah the best part is that their their 
behavior towards me or mind towards them had never changed back then nor has it changed now nor will it ever change in the future so that's what i truly value as friendship and you know the reason why i asked you about these friendships is because kitni bar kya hota hai because you spend so much time on a show there are also you know reports that come around that probably these co actors are not getting well together and probably that's also happened during yeh mohabbat also when you know there were certain reports about you and divyanka not sharing a very great equation but you had obviously you spoken about it and you said yes we are two very true. different people we are friends yes but we are not we are not thick as thieves because we are two very different people she is more of a very introvert quiet kind of a shy kind of a person yeah. and i'm more on the bratty side uh, you know uh, i like to make friends i joke around and we 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 both share very different personalities for us to be you know that thick as friends mm-hmm. but having said that there's never been bad blood either correct so people often mistake uh, um Say if you just I hi hello casual hi hello people take that as oh my god there's such, there's a cold there's war a cold going on yeah there. I mean what the f- is a cold war there's nothing there's, there's either a war or it's cold there can't have a cold war simple as that but you know how do these reports probably a lot of things get written off and how do they affect you do they affect you first no nah, no not really I've never bothered about things I've, I've never bothered about things being written about me be it good or bad so. No, no reports don't matter. But it was a gradual process. Yeah, one point pe kabi affect karta tha and then it stopped. No, I am from the beginning. It's never affected me since the very beginning because yeah, I, I, I personally believe that everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Correct. And if you sit there clarifying each and every body's doubt and opinion about you, you'll probably waste half your life doing that. Right. So I'd rather enjoy and live whatever I have written in my lifespan for me. then sit and create other uh, correct other people's judgment about me you know but then do you think being an actor also equals to being thick skinned you like a lot of things are going to be told about you and you just have to ignore it comes it. With, it comes with the baggage i mean yeah if you if you've chosen to be in a profession where you want hundreds and thousands and lakhs of people to love you for whatever reason be it good or bad then you need to be prepared for at least a few of them to hate you also a lot of your shows have been very successful और उस टाइम पे यू नो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द कस्तूरी एंड द करम अपना अपना डेज काव्यांजलि डेज जब वो शोज बनते थे नो देर वॉज अ लॉट ऑफ यू नो इट वॉज दे वर वेरी एंगेजिंग इट वॉज अ लॉट ऑफ कॉन्टेंट दैट प्रॉबली यू नो आप वो टी वी कल्चर था उस टाइम एंड आजकल प्रॉबली द कॉन्टेंट दैट इज बींग मेड इज नॉट दैट ग्रेट समय डू यू फील द टी वी प्रोड्यूसर्स एफ स्टार्ट टेकिंग टी वी कॉन्टेंट लाइटली एंड इट्स लूजिंग इट्स शीन बट नॉट 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 लेटली इनफैक्ट फॉर क्वाइट सेम टाइम नाउ आई ऑलवेज सेट दैट आर daily soap content has become very regressive i mean why are we why are we even heading towards that path you know on one ha- on one hand we are trying to develop as a country uh, infrastructure wise so do we are promoting education so that we have development of, not only on infrastructure but on uh, you know uh, a generic mental level also of people mentality of people should improve mm-hmm. and on the other hand now then and then we serve them with shows which take you back in time and are still regressive you know where you still have uh, for example for a lack of a better example where you have uh, child marriage or dowry systems or uh, the you know caste differences happening on your daily soaps now if you if you want to serve that then you cannot expect a elite society right so there has to be something which has to go hand in hand right because eventually 80% of our audience is not the kind of audience which has the iq to differentiate what they see from what is true right 80% of our people get carried away ke bhai jo ho raha hai that's the trend so we you cannot never learn to you can never expect someone to learn to change their mentalities if you don't stop serving them with the same kind of old content that you are so that's why when i said yeh mohabbat hai was probably the first show where the the lead couple like uh, raman and uh, ishita they Ishita. never spoke up and to to each other i spoke a language or i i used a uh, the kind of language that a daily a normal person would use in their house correct it was a very two tara kind of a language because yeah. that's how everybody talks right and that is the reason why people love that show so much and people could relate to every character because we all behaved like we do at our own houses mere ghar mein meri maa kabhi sar pe pallu lage nahi ghumi aaj tak hai na she's okay. never addressed my father as aap ha uh. so that's that's a very filmy and a very old culture that we are still following i don't know for what reason also when stardom comes okay when success comes when it came for you how did you deal with it i think i lost my head okay yeah it happens you know initially not everybody can fathom or uh, you know 
digest the kind of success that one gets very easily. For me also it happened for a short span though. But yeah, I, I, I probably started flying too high than I should have and didn't realize that till I fell down, till I fell flat rather. So you remember or if you are willing to share, okay to share I mean, that I mean, moment where you realized? The time when Kasturi shot. Uh-huh. And then for about a couple of years, I had no work. And uh, only to, for, to realize that it, there is no work, not because uh, I don't suit the roles, is because I don't suit the professionalism that people expect from me. So that was mm-hmm. something I had to work on. Was there a moment that, Boltena, when you sit and retrospect, was there a moment like that when you realized that probably this is where I am going wrong? Yeah, yeah, moment where I had three years to sit back and retrospect because Achha. it took a long time for probably someone to come back and uh, take that chance of giving me a, a, a helping hand saying that, no worry, chalo, you f up, you f up, come on, we'll, we'll, we'll try working on you again. And that again was Ikta. Wow. So, yeah, that's the reason why I respect and love her where and she'll always have that position in my life, what she has now. So, today the Karan who sits here, how emotionally and mentally evolved is that Karan? Not evolved, but very aware. Okay. He's, he's aware, aware of his emotions. He's aware of, uh, he's mentally aware of what needs to be done where. And also the biggest fact that he's mentally aware that he has to be himself wherever he is. Because pretense doesn't last long. Correct. Uh, while we were talking, you, may, you made a point that if people like if people like you, they really like you. But you know... Th- there is a time when you know the audience is also very quick to form an opinion about an actor. Like I remember there was a phase where there was this opinion that oh Karan Patel is very short tempered or he's you know he's very serious in nature, he's somebody who's very angry. Angry and short tempered are not opinions, they're facts. But okay. at the same time I'm serious is an opinion because I'm I'm the last person to be serious about anything in life. I wish that was not the fact. I wish I was serious about something in life at least. But yeah, because uh, having said that, it doesn't mean I take things lightly. Correct. But I don't take things to my heart. Hmm. If there's a setback, I'll take it with a pinch of salt and move ahead. I will not sit and sulk over it, is okay. what I mean when I say I'm not very serious about things in life. Also, you know, how much has being a father changed to you? Oh, tremendously. Yeah. I mean, wow. Meher has... Uh, I don't know if I've changed as uh, a person, as in with... My attitude towards life and work, that's because that's again a completely different ballgame. Huh, exactly. But as a person, I've always been very fond of kids. But having a kid, child of your own changes the entire game. I mean, your world starts revolving around that one little heartbeat that's totally. in the house. And not just me, I think the entire house, she has everybody around her, wrapped around her little finger. Yeah. Even I have a daughter and I also oh, know wow. that, you know, what life just... Change yeah, yeah. Hota hai, like you become a, a somebody who's fierce. And At the same time, you're the most lovable for person. For fathers, a daughter is the best thing. I mean, yeah. Wow. I I see my father, so I know what sons can do. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, having said that, yeah, the daughters are the blessing. I mean, children are blessings, but uh, I think a daughter is a little more special a blessing than a son. But also, has Ankita changed you as a person? Ah, yeah. She has completely, like... 360 man I think with Ankita coming into my life is what you know everybody needs a little bit of anchor a little bit of uh, stability hmm. or that one uh, one binding factor that just that keeps you rooted to your uh, your roots I think Ankita probably is that anchor how easy or difficult is it for one to find a friend in a partner depends it depends on uh, the kind of relationship you've had with that person see Ankita and me we we, we had an arranged marriage hmm. I met my father-in-law one and a half years before I met my wife. Can you imagine? Because he was huh, playing my father-in-law. I think so. I have seen Ali Goni's one interview where he said you guys met on the set. So yeah, Mom, because he, he was playing yeah. my father-in-law in my yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. So we started off as, as an arranged marriage. So it, we had a lot of time to get to know each other, find out things about each other, good, bad, agree, disagree, or you know, agree to disagree. So the most uh, crucial years of a marriage, the first few years, we, had, we went by so beautifully, we exploring each other as human beings, as people, as as individuals, that it did not seem that difficult for, to have the transition of friends to companions or companions to friends. But I cannot say the same for people who have a love marriage because they've already had a different kind of a relation in the past before they officially get married to each other. So, yeah, if you talk about arranged marriage, I think it's a beautiful transition to have from companions to friends. And you know, somewhere... This, the era probably that we belong to, we used to, we nurture the relationships that, you know, probably are close to our heart. But in the 
relationships have drastically changed yeah i think uh, nothing but social media to be blame for it exactly but i want to know personally what is your take on infidelity then yeah see i'll tell you what it happens and it will continue to happen in every part of the world okay but again that infidelity also has to depend from person to person what their reasons are hmm. like we for us we term everything as do these at an affair is cheating but you don't know the circumstances under which that has escalated to that level of what that person has gone through to do this and Correct. i think it's too personal uh, uh, a subject for a third person to comment on somebody else's right. relationship because you know you don't know till you've gone through it hmm. so why even if if they're doing it they let them do it is is their life not as long as it's not eating into yours that's what i do, truly believe give people their space i mean don't breathe down the neck also you know as a medium in television as an actor how important is it for one to you know even evolve in the choices of projects that they make from time to time because you know it makes you a household name it has a very wide reach so when you play a character wo typecast hone ka kahin na kahin dar hota hai no i'll tell you what the there's a there's a there's an advantage and an equally bad advantage of television okay advantage is that you cannot you cannot be typecast okay because you see if you played a, a romantic lead and the next one you play uh, maybe a grey lead hmm. or maybe a negative uh, lead like what uh, the what i can remember last was i think karan veer did a show where uh, with uh, siti jaha where he used Aha. to be a, a you know wife beater or something of that sort like a psycho psychopath husband or psycho, that Aha. guy but you still the hero of the show and uh, people people accept you in all kind of kinds of roles as long as you are still the lead of a show because they call they associate you with the show or the show with you है ना सो ये रमन अच्छा ही इज रमन फ्रॉम वाई एच एम और फॉर दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल ही इज रॉबी फ्रॉम कस्तूरी सो देर टू डिफरेंट कैरेक्टर्स टू डिफरेंट पीपल बट पीपल लव यू फॉर दैट 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 मोमेंट वेन यू आर इन दैट कैरेक्टर इन दैट शो द शो इज ओवर पीपल आर ओवर ओवर योर कैरेक्टर नाउ दिल प्रॉब्लम अरेंज और अडेप्ट टू द नेक्स्ट वन दैट यू प्ले विच ऑल्सो हैज अ फ्लिप साइड इज दैट इट टेक्स प्रॉबली अ लाइफ टाइम फॉर एन एक्टर टू गेट आउट ऑफ द रिकग्नेशन ऑफ अ कैरेक्टर एग्जैक्टली So when you finished like a successful show for the coming couple of years, people will still call you by that same name, which no matter how much you hate, but you cannot express it because that's also a blessing because that's the way they show their love. It's not their fault, but it takes a lot for a television actor to break that uh, barrier of being known as himself rather than the character. which is not the case with films and on an individual level you know like you mentioned ki when you play a character it's it's for a very long time that you know you are associated like 6 years yeah, with yeah. raman bhalla is quite a long time what detaching with the character on an individual level how easy or difficult does that get then i don't know i i'm not trying to um, you know be very braggy about it but i have always been very comfortable with a switch on switch off and i have never bought my character or any work home i have never sat and prep for a character or or taken hours to sit in isolation you know get into a character for me it comes very easily to switch on switch off okay. so i've been very lucky that way also do you remember the very first moment when you realized oh my god i'm famous like i said it was i was really young huh. and uh, in those days what happened was you know being famous is a uh, is a virtue which you realize today but back then it was like you know it was it it always fired f- uh, the fuel of arrogance back then uh-huh. it was very easy to just you know become arrogant and say oh, yeah, i'm famous theek hai ha today you realize that fame is also very momentary correct like but like failure is also momentary hmm. if if failure is not permanent nor is fame so you have to be very careful about both of these aspects right they start with the same alphabet but yeah the two sides of the two different sides of the same coin personally what are the kind of roles that you know karan loves playing i think any role that makes me push the boundaries and any role that uh, makes me reach a, a step further than where i am right now if there has to be one lesson that success has taught you what would that be yeah success has taught me don't be stupid okay and uh, when i say don't be stupid means don't be stupid to take it for granted You know? mm. Don't be stupid to think it's going to last forever, and don't be stupid to think that if it's come to you, it's not going to come to somebody else. Right. So yeah, success has taught me not to be stupid. So then, let's say if you met the Karan from two decades in the industry, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. So 
if you met the karan from 2 decades ago today what would you tell that karan i'll wag the fuck out of him i said you stupid ass. i mean you should be grateful to be where you are i mean you know just cherish what you have and make sure that you nourish it <laughs> and work on it i mean don't just take it for granted because this is this is not something that you've been given because you deserve because you deserve to have it for life you've been given because they think you deserve it for the kind of job that you're doing for the for the uh, for the for this moment that you've got but what about ott content like are you how open are you to you know probably I, working on the ott space right now i am dead against anything on ott that's being shot and given a name of content because uh, i think i keep telling people very often ki ab gadhe ghode sab ek hi race mein daud rahe hain absolutely so ott content ke naam pe people are making amazing shows yeah. like the family man and that they're making some disgusting semi porn and calling it content so i think an actor loses his value we've we've lost value to brilliant mind blowing actors like a manoj bajpay doing a family man and the same portal having a show which has nothing but skin show for no reason so i would not want to see manoj bajpay on the uh, with in the same bracket that i see these sleazy shows coming up yaar but then the craze for ott is catching up very soon it will see it's catching up soon yes but it will also die out equally soon because it it's good see everything has a trend right right ott also luckily the, the lockdown has has become has, was the fuel the ott needed as a right. fire correct so people didn't have options didn't have didn't didn't have anything else to do but now that channels have, now everything's come back to normal theaters are opening up now you see now films have started getting those 100 crore 200 crore numbers back absolutely yes. so now the how how much do you hear people talk about a new ott show now people are start discussing films again exactly that's the difference the theater going culture has actually picked i up. always told people i've always told my friends in industry also there'll be a time let, let this lockdown get over in the next few years you and me will be discussing what films are coming up right now we're discussing what shows are coming up right. what series is up now we are discussing films when was the last person you said, you heard hey there's a new show coming here no there's a new film coming ah. so the film culture is back correct so people who are riding the ott wave i mean i'm genuinely very happy for the ones who've ridden the wave well till now but it's also to understand and realize that ott and television you might call them two different mediums but they are still the same source you are still in that four framed four cornered box and you are still at the back end call of a remote hmm. so you can never take the place of a film that's true that's true but kahin na kahin you know this ott dominance or this ott supremacy has affected the tv watching culture like i remember as a child hum log ke ghar mein 7 baje se raat ko 10:30 11 baje tak chalta tha i remember tv but remember. Ab, now that's not the case that's the reason why i'm saying na ke ab see what happens is that's not the case if you are a avid daily soap watcher hmm because now you can watch your episode at your time Correct. jab chahe tab ab nahi dekha to main kal dekh lunga hai hmm. na which is again are uh, like i said ott is also the same series you want to binge watch people like if there's an episodic ott series like aaj ek episode hai next week the other one you'll rather wait for the whole season to finish and then you want to watch it at one stretch hmm. that is nothing but it is a subconscious mind of yours which is still functioning at the film pattern like you watch a film you want to watch the whole film together i don't want to watch first half and then Haan. second half tomorrow so you're still watching an ott with with a film in mind So you want to know the whole story together, right? Right. That's why you binge watch. Yeah, that's why you binge watch. So then, why? this is a delusion that you—it's a delusional world that oh my god, OTT has become so big. OTT is still being watched as a film. Correct. So it can never replace a film. Wow, you've changed my perception of looking at OTT so different. Yeah, think about it. Would you want to watch an OTT one episode today, the next or next Monday? No. Really. You'd rather wait for six, seven weeks and see the whole thing together. True. So it's like a film. Also, you know. in television also you've done fictional shows you've hosted you've also done reality shows yeah. every year we see you as a guest on big boss <laughs> but why don't we see you as a contestant the big boss is not my temperament it's not my cup of tea acha na no. i'm i'm a strictly no nonsense person and uh, i like to call a spade a spade and i cannot just play along dirty game just because it is going to get me or drive me to a certain point a certain advantage so yeah it's, i'd rather rather stay away from that but probably has this does this opinion also has a lot to do with this ke there have been in the past kitni bar aap jab show pe gaye ho you've kept your opinion and these fans outside the fan clubs out, outside have taken offense and they've just gone all out with the scrutiny but it's all right see if if i have fans so does the other person and every like i said every person has said has entitled their opinion hmm 
like i went on i had the privilege of going on that stage and giving mine they're giving theirs through twitter or through an instagram or through facebook doesn't matter if they is like i gave mine they're giving theirs hmm. i i mean if i give my opinion it's, it's not that it's not my hatred towards the other person right it's just my opinion about the other person similarly it's their opinion about me or whatever i have said so it's all right doesn't matter and you know like you mentioned you are somebody who calls a spade a spade but aajkal ka time aisa hai ki you know logo ko honest opinion jamta nahi hai hajam nahi hota tabhi to log chup baithe hue hain ha but you know does that probably you know put you in the bad light then at times when you are very honest or vocal about no in fact i i think it puts me in the most amazing and most comfortable spot because then people are scared to ask you a question because they know that, that this fuck is going to give me the two uh, correct answer honest answer and i might not like it right so people don't take you for a ride and people don't assume that you will be uh, uh, probably you'll 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 nod your head in in acceptance or whatever they are saying so they refrain they're very choosy about the questions they ask you correct but this is also a very rare quality in actors because you know usually actors are very guarded very cautious, cautious yeah, when they, they give yeah they take the literal word the meaning of actor too far i mean okay yeah i think as long as you're just an actor in front of the camera it's, it's good because Absolutely. How far and how much can you act? You need to take a break from acting also, no? And you know, to be very honest, this is one quality about you that I have always admired. That you are very honest, and you know, this honest nature somewhere even shows in front of the camera. Like even in characters, it shows that you know it's coming from a very place of genuinity. But kahi na kahi have you like or has it annoyed you in life when you know you have had people around? who are probably not telling you the truth when you wanted to hear that i've never what been a person to want to hear the truth i've always been a, a person that if i'm saying the truth you what i what you are hearing is the truth hmm. now what you tell me if it's a lie and i find out tomorrow it is not my loss it is your loss because you've lost the trust that i had in you okay it's not my problem you can fool me once you can fool me twice but then the third time i'm not going to give you a chance so it's your loss because if you still choose to want to be in that trust circle of mine then you might as be honest to me so hurting karano betraying is trust is there coming back after that ever maybe once okay maybe twice and if i have had too many drinks maybe thrice otherwise no <laughs> okay <laughs> being honest and you know you said you make friends very easily but do you also trust people very easily yeah i do that's okay. the reason why uh, i say i say that you know you, you've never seen enough of life because i am still very bad at reading people I have probably friends and more I can count I can remember like I said friends is friends and I'm not talking about friends who are family to me right and uh, I must have done countless number of things for countless number of people and only to realize that shit maybe I shouldn't have done this for them and I didn't that done, done a favor to the same person all over again and forgotten about the first time I got backstab also so I take like I said I take everything with a pinch of salt just move ahead finish it Life But is you too know, to hold grudges. while there is a very chill side to Karan Patel, there is also a vulnerable side which probably it's not for everybody to see. Nah, I've never kept anything hidden. I mean, yeah, the the worst part about being so honest and so vocal about it is that you can't hide your moods very easily. Okay. If I'm in a bad mood, I'm in a bad mood. If I'm in a good mood, I'm in a good mood. But what about you know dealing with emotions? Like how good or bad are you with that? Emoting very good. Okay. On camera, but otherwise, like <laughs> when you know, probably does Karan cry? Uh, cry yeah, very yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, मर्द को दर्द होता है यार सबको होता है. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I would. If it's worth crying, if it's worth shedding a tear. Also, you know, coming to Daranchu now. How did all of how did Daranchu happen? What's the story behind it? Ah, long story, man. Long story. Waited for years for someone to sign me for a film. Nobody did, so I had to produce my own. <laughs> the cutting is short. No, but <laughs> what are you laughing for? <laughs> no. So Daranchu basically uh, is a story of uh, is your story, is my story. It's everybody sitting in this room, everybody's story uh, of how one doesn't really know that they have it in them to face their fears. Hmm. You know, we always give in to our fears. We always succumb to our fears. whereas the 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 fight against that fear is is there within you but we just don't know how to awaken that fighter within us okay and it's not by doing anything extraordinary or doing uh, uh, just overnight becoming this super power and you know conquering life it's just about dealing with the same problems but looking at them from a different perspective because we live such a fast life today 
that we are so stressed out at all, all at every point that we don't realize that this problem could have such a simple solution but since we are so so overloaded with stress we didn't have the simple peace of mind to look at it that oh my god shit it was such a simple thing to do yaar i could have done this long back ago hota hi nahi absolutely so it is just that those small simple sweet switches or tricks in life that you can apply to huh. and have your biggest of problems vanish like this so basically daran chu is there's no word as daran chu hmm. it's just how bachcho ko bolte hain ki it's magic dekho udan chu ho jayega sab ha huh. so daran chu is that yeah your you the fear will vanish okay all you need to do is just just the minute the fear is out in front of you you become the fear for the fear tum apne dar ko darao aur dar chu ho jayega dekhna do the dynamics also change you know when when the film is a home production oh yeah they do i dare not come late on set my wife will kill me <laughs> of course they do yeah big time um see there's a lot running hmm. uh, from your there's lot you've put in there a lot you've invested uh, not in terms of just the money yes money hmm. is one of the biggest aspects but at the second time it's a lot of emotional baggage that you've uh, put onto this cart right hai yeah, na there's the trust the faith uh, of uh, people involved your family in you and your in your family to back you up then the faith of uh, your faith in the audience that they've loved you for so long and they will continue to love you and hmm. they'll probably you know cherish this as nicely as they did with your past endeavors and then there's the audience's trust that you cannot let down correct so more than the uh, financial aspect it's more of the emotional uh, Uh, baggage that needs to be taken care of and again the biggest fact and the uh, i think the strongest point of anybody wanting to take this step of making a movie or coming into a movie or coming on the big screen is grounding your foot on the big screen on a different podium on a different level of the uh, entire profession where you are but you know catching the pulse of the audience is it easy today no it's diff- it's or never been easy actually because our audience is we have a very very versatile audience hmm and and they are also at the same time very unpredictable they love they can love you for the most silliest and most uh, you know leave your brains at home kind of cinema and they might not just accept you for the most sensible cinema also correct and can be vice versa hmm so uh, yeah i'll see like for example uh, you don't have a bigger culture than shahrukh salman amir khan and the akshay kumar and these people in our industry or in our country hmm. i don't call them superstars they are their cultures of their own hmm. they are not even legend they legends are a smaller word right hai na so like like mr bachchan was a revolution shahrukh khan is a revolution right salman khan is a revolution but there were there have been times when audiences have not taken very well to their films also like Correct. beat a tube light beat a zero or ah. uh, say thugs of hindustan they all three came the same year i believe Huh, and imagine yes. the three khans if their films were not very well accepted by the audience where the same year a small film like a bareilly ki barfi or a or a uh, uh, which was that ayushman's film um, nina nina ji's film which was that badaiyo Badai sorry yeah. badaiyo it it i think it went up to what a, almost 100 crore film yeah yeah more than 100 so crores. imagine so that is the dynamics of the audience we, we have today so if they feel good about a film they they they'll probably take you take you sitting on the shoulders but you know does this complexity somewhere influence your decision as an actor to take up a project and you know even if it's a production does that you know probably influence your you know idea of putting in money or putting in the time and effort in a project like that so see this kind of an ideology of the audience gives you confidence because okay. you know that now they're not just star driven hmm so the audience has also evolved sensibly and they've evolved mentally for cinema earlier it was ke bhai i have done that all my life and i will still continue doing it i still do it if it's a sharukh khan film i don't even give a damn who has to say what but i am the first one to hit the theater the minute the film is out hmm. and i will do that for the rest of my because i love that man right but at the same time i i love that man because i i been like that since my childhood hmm. but for a layman no matter how much you like a, a certain person you will not want to risk that kind of a investment into a, in, a film ticket today because see a average ticket or an average film outing with a for a for a middle class person with his family and kids is almost 10 20 30 percent of his monthly salary right so now today that person does not want to spend that money just because yeah, i love an actor 
like uh, like I said, life has changed, dynamics have changed. So that person will probably wait for the audience reaction and see how the film is being taken by the other people. Absolutely, it takes a lot to you know today to go to that theatre book yeah. a ticket because it's so, expensive. So that also gives you the confidence that if you if you believe in your script and your content, then you're not very scared because then you, people are not there to see you as a as a superstar or as an actor. People are there for the film on the whole. So now I'd say like I strongly believe that now content is your first hero. Your actors are second. Like your super, your first starring is your story and script. If okay. that is not in place, then no matter who you have in the film, it's not going to work for you. What's the plan with Mark Productions ahead? Mark movies, uh, wow, depends on how Darren Chu's accepted. And uh, nonetheless, I mean, yeah, we'll continue to take chances and uh, entertain audience, and hopefully, we strike the right chord with every film, starting with Darren Chu. But movies, he plan hai as of now. Filal to yes, movies he hai. Hmm. Just waiting for this entire जो नया भूत चढ़ा ना everybody wants to become a producer everybody is becoming an actor just waiting for the entire wave to die down and then for the actual ones to stay back and then you probably think about venturing into other mediums. Also, you know, if somebody is entering the industry and you have to give them a piece of advice, what would Karan tell them? Learn from me. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes I made. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I would rather say just tell them that you know what, just take each day. As it comes, don't plan too 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 ahead, because plans generally and mostly don't work out, and never take failure permanently. Okay. There's always a chance. I mean, no matter how down and out you are, there is always a chance because the minute you're down and out, that's the lowest you can go to. Hmm. So anything from there is always going to be a way up. But you know, like you mentioned, mistakes sometimes you you everybody too err is human, but us mistakes is seek na usko accept karna. वो यू यू नीड रियल गट्स फॉर दैट प्रॉबली इफ देर आर सम मिस्टेक दैट हैव बीन अ लर्निंग लेसन फॉर यू इन लाइफ वॉट वुड दैट बी फॉर यू मिस्टेक्स लाइक आई सेड यू नो टेक योर सेल्फ टेक योर टेक योर करंट पोजिशन फॉर ग्रांटेड अच्छा इज अ मिस्टेक आई मीन या यू बी यू आई थिंक ह्यूमिलिटी इज समथिंग दैट शुड बी पार्ट ऑफ योर कैरेक्टर इन एवरी स्टेज ऑफ लाइफ whether you are up there or whether you are down there uh humility should not leave your side because arrogance is very short lived and um, yeah be try and be on time okay because if life starts giving you things late mm -hmm. you might not be able to accept it also what would the last line of karan's autobiography read my autobiography last line would read that uh, spread love people have enough troubles of their own amazing i have to tell you with this conversation my perception about the ott space has changed <laughs> but yes i am glad that i spoke to somebody who's so honest so genuine and you know probably keeping the actor aside and a pleasure is all mine yeah. so thank you to, so much for doing no, this with us pleasure is all mine thank you for having me i think it's always so good to have somebody chat with you just as a chat and as a as a conversation and not just try and pitch you questions which they want answers to to garner you know uh -huh. views generally this is a trend that happens now no people want to poke those certain angles through which they know they can provoke answers which would garner eyeballs or gain views click bait so thank you so much no, for removing time thank and doing so this much. with us i wish you all the very best for daran chu thank you thank you and i'm sure mark movies ke liye this is the first but not the last yeah yeah the first i hope the first is starts with a bumper it's on 13th october man soon Amazing thank you thank you very thank you so much hi this is karan patel and you're watching me on bollywood bubble